Hey guys, I'm Cody, edited by Impasta Life Pro, and it has come to my attention through an insightful comment in one of my videos that changing the color of the water is actually something that is possible. So, knowing me, it's time I showed all of you how it's done. In this tutorial, water will not look the same when we're done with it. Alright, I have the Sue shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and locate gbuffers underscore water dot fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 353. Whether you choose to believe it or not, these three values are what will allow you to change the water color to literally whatever color you'd like. Since these values are dominated by the RGB color palette, that means the first value will adjust your red color, the second will adjust your green, and the third will adjust your blue. As kind of an example to get your feet wet, we'll be tweaking the values to, more or less, give a creative look to the water. First, let's slightly decrease the saturation of the water so that it doesn't look so packed with blue. Here's what we'll do. Let's change the red to 0.4F, the green to 0.9F, and the blue to 1.2F. Compared to the original look of the water, well, it's not as blue anymore. Anyway, here's another example. Change the red to 0.0F, the green to 0.1F, and the blue to 0.4F. I created this one simply for the sole purpose of realism. Compared to the previous example, the water here holds almost that clear water look, but I've added a slight bit of violet to kind of compensate for the darkness beneath the water surface. Here's one more example for those who remember the Seuss V10 RC6 as water. Change all the values to 0.0F. For those who I hope are remembering, I give you clear water, which in terms of realism, well, it's pretty much the most realistic one yet. Since if you were just to go look at sitting water, it has no color. It just reflects everything else off of it. Anyways, before I end this tutorial, I have something you're surely going to love. In my free time, I worked out all the values that equate to pretty much all the colors like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and some others. Guys, definitely enjoy this. If this tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!